You know just what you do, you do to me. Play my emotions like a pair of pup. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I will be making a pot of pasta with just 1000 naira. So here I'm on my way going to a nearby store to get the ingredients. And this is my 1000 naira and uh, the least I have made previously. So yeah, I've got into the store and I handed my list over to the shop owner to bring it out for me and this is her trying to bring out everything that was on the list so here is everything i bought i bought this pack for 500 the power oil for 150 the boiled egg for 100 naira the sachet tomato for 100 naira sachet to um curry sorry for 15 naira and the atarado for 100 naira making it a total of 1050 naira meaning that i went over my budget with 15 naira and uh, here i am going home from uh, the store showing you guys what i bought and uh yeah going home to go and prepare the food Here again is everything I bought. This is everything I'll be using to make my pot of pasta. I've already given you guys uh, the rundown of um, prices and uh, everything. So let's dive into this cooking. So yeah, I already have my boiling water on fire. Next, I'll be adding salt. Yeah, this is what I'll be using it to parboil my pasta. And after adding the salt, I stirred and uh, covered for it to boil before I add my pasta. So this video is a supper edition of cooking pasta. So yeah, the water has boiled to the temperature I wanted. Now I'll be adding my pasta i broke mine into two but you can add yours just like that yeah i'm trying to stir very well so it will stick together so after i stirred it properly i covered it to cook at this point you should always check on your pasta so it won't get burnt check on it if uh, it needs water you add water to it and then stir very well and then cover to cook please don't leave it for a while without checking on it because it will stick to burn and stick to the bottom of your pot. Yeah, I checked on the pasta and I got to know that it has cooked very well. So I brought it down from the fire and saved it off camera. So after I saved out the pasta, I proceeded to making the tomato base for the jello pasta yeah i added my power oil i made sure nothing wasted as you can see in the video after adding my power oil i added my sliced onions and i let these to fry for a few seconds before i added the next ingredient After I added my powdered curry, I stirred properly and let it fry for a few seconds before I also added another ingredient. Next, I added my bladed grey fish. After adding, I stirred. So 
after I stirred this crayfish, I noticed that the crayfish was much, so I added more butter to the pot because at that point I didn't have any carrot oil at home. I added butter instead. And after adding butter, I added my sachet tomato. Adding my sachet tomato, I stirred and left it to fry for a few minutes so as to remove the sour taste. After leaving the tomato to fry for a few minutes so as to remove the sour taste, I added a little bit of water and I stirred properly. Next up, I added my sliced fresh pepper and the seasoning cubes and stirred very well. So if you guys noticed, I didn't add salt to this tomato base. So the reason why I didn't add salt was uh, I already added salt in the water I used in parboiling my pasta and I was going to add it. That's just what I added now. So yeah, I saw this technique or let's say this trick in uh, someone's uh, video on Facebook where she added this water to her pasta and uh, after cooking, she said uh, it uh, added more taste it made her pasta so different so uh delicious than the previous ones she has been cooking so i decided to try out myself today and give my review so my review on this is wow it worked so water or the water i extracted from cooking my pasta made my pasta or give my pasta a different taste from the usual i've been cooking without the water so yeah i would recommend you guys try it out so yeah i already added my pasta and uh, i stirred very well so after stirring properly i left the pasta to cook for a few minutes and voila our food is ready so guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe to my channel comment and also share this video and also try out yours try out making a pot of food with just 1000 naira see you guys in my next video bye